we don't black folks and basically I'm gonna hit play on here there's a standard YouTube on this remember car. guys a laser is straight line power energy the Tesla coil is doing what they all do with all of the Tesla coils that are up in Alaska they take all the power and energy out in space and then they create weather you're right on top of the weather thing okay I'm gonna keep the audio going on his here and then I'll show you I'll crank it up now these high power I'm going to show you uh, our objects in space tonight with the certain space things pulling what they are pulling. To put this for, in perspective, uh, power wise, and let me set that the up. US is specifically I'll stop the sound. Late. And then in between your laser and what they're grabbing up there in space, remember, watch recently the your ions tonight, okay, which are proton masses, okay, and that's the actual on a proton. And basically on a electron okay factual remember all that static electricity from out in space is not yes it has all this and that's why I'm showing you but it's not in a straight line now can you imagine if everybody takes all those harps and takes all the straight energy and lines it up in a line you've got the rail gun a little bit off messed and you need to stay away from the rail gun okay it's a simple straight out badass laser correct okay a laser straight line okay what if they use those harps to get all in straight in line now I'm giving you plenty enough information and I'll just say the number 11 I don't even say anything about any smaller number than 11 but we all know what happened and yes I am a certified asshole electrician now let's go let's look at some of the magnets that are flying around in space tonight because they started hyping up that an asteroid is coming around and stuff like that, okay? And we'll also see scientific live data from tonight. I am going to show you data that's going to freak a little people out because someone's messing around because Mother Nature just ain't doing that all by herself. Somebody's trying to draw on something a little bit too much. Here's our electron flux. You just you guys aren't electricians, okay? You don't know electrical science and factual actual, okay? So our electron flux is doing that, okay? Uh, Mother Nature, and then we got our objects that are coming by in space. We'll go over to Asgard. I don't even really need to show you the radar at this point in time, but I'll, I'll go ahead and do it real fast. We'll pop over here, and then I'll go down through the map. And the actual factual, you'll see where it's basically most of what's coming from is where the moon's directed at tonight. Okay, it's not coming off the moon, it's coming off reflection of the moon and all the stars, massive amount, infinite space out there. Okay, then we pop over really fast and I can bring you up to the data of our close objects that came by because Fireball is already taking the pictures of these objects here. Now watch your kilomiles a second in your AU and I already just basically was only a few that were farther out. Okay, so basically we got a debris of ages old coming around and kilomiles a second. So basically you got your magnetical energy going through space. And yes, Bino's got the invention for making water in a spaceship in space, but NASA's going to have to pay money for it. Nice and safe so they don't have to drink their pee anymore. That gets reconstituted. Uh, factual, that's all of our items that came by tonight so far. Uh, they don't really have the time down in the corner, but I can nail it off to you. It's 8.43 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, making this recording. And then when I upload it, it's a little bit different. But this is all of our items that came by so far at that time so there you got your Eastern Standard Time that you can go look at this and this is up tonight as of the 17th February of 2014 okay factual guys remember there's a complete difference from a straight line electricity of a laser massively combined and can you imagine what can be done with massive Tesla coils, yes, correct, and that's what's up at that's what's up in Alaska and all over the world. They do have a massive. That's why everybody's getting along. Nobody wants to get zapped with a laser that powerful from outer space with all the energy of space and the sun, all the suns. Okay, that's your actual factual fact. All right, let's go let's see what's going on space weather real fast, and then I'll pop back over and we'll look a little bit about the and, we, and these these guys are really doing a kick. But job. I mean, so inexpensive to get up there in the stratosphere and take peaks and poops and all that crap. Uh, so check all that out. That's pretty cool. Let me get to the electron flux. And then I don't have to repeat. You can go back with the information. And remember, volcanoes 
are getting the natural action from outer space. Plus, maybe somebody is. Anyway, I love mining companies because of my intangible. Okay? It's that actual fact. Okay? So does everybody that's related to me and my family. Okay? Because actual factual, drill baby drill. Drill baby drill is mining. Okay? So other mining companies are doing what they're doing, and I told you, the space race is on. Can you mine in space, and who is mining in space? There's plenty of companies. Now, before I started my video, there was four companies. There is a new little window if you're using just about anything these days to see how many people are spying on you, and I kind of supply that a little bit on my channel. Let me go to that real fast. So guys, you're really good at reading the data, but pay attention to what everything is. And then let me hurry up and go to my site. But uh, let's pop over here really again, uh, and I'm just gonna straight out. This is solar ham, radio frequencies, and everything like that. And they just basically they connect up with everything that everybody's studying out there. Ionosphere. There you go. Our static friction as we go through space very fast, ladies and gentlemen. Whole Earth, okay. And we get a lot of that's our eyeball up there. We're going through space, following the sun and rotating to the east and then that's where we get to heat it our equator because that's where the friction's at okay but we got most of our electrical energy that keeps us right where we're at the north and south pole okay and then there's where we're getting absorption on your side balls and right along the equator and everything like that but nighttime daytime remember it's 9 8 46 p.m eastern time Di nighttime okay so actual fact, that's what's all going on. The sun is pretty doggone calm right now and it's ain't going to get into a lot on that. So remember now that all this data that I popped through it real fast, as you see it, if you freeze it, you'll see it changing, okay? Pop back through this real quick. And the factual, I don't know if I did it in HD this time, I wasn't. And people need to start telling me when I do the videos, is HD better for uh, the actual photos and stuff like that? It might be just better off in normal resolution. We'll find out over time. People can make comments. And I'll just go by my eyesight to what I see okay but so this is all the data all the objects so far tonight that basically would match up with them you know whatever they blew up or got completely or fell into or hit some object in the past or created over billions zillions of years and stuff like that that's how fast they're coming by in kill miles a second and that's their awe you right there and as you see it kind of matches up there's one that is this was the farthest so this is pretty much the leader and heavier and probably bigger and that is probably our object right there that a lot of agencies were trying to put it and they got messed up on their YouTube feed at least I didn't get the YouTube feed for the craft tonight and then with certain companies they're trying to extort space action so hopefully don't they, that's why you got to watch people trying to fake stuff out so you guys are on the right thing on the and let me get back and playing that audio so here we are we're playing the audio it should come through okay because this is what I if not you can go watch this video okay but uh, here they, come they have the right ideas and, and everything like that but I mean those lasers that are on those ships are to protect those ships they're not they are massively strong don't get me wrong they can burn just about anything down and go ahead and cue that up 11 so the fact is that's right lasers now yeah one day but that's straight line energy remember a microwave is microwaves that's wave energy that we pick up from tesla coils up in alaska and you can go to this guy's channel and he gets all the data down really good but there's a massive difference between a straight laser power they did not get into this don't get me wrong that heart could do it fascinating and then you get what happened in really basically what tesla was doing and got ripped off and stolen by who cares it's way over no one's going to be able to sue anybody Okay. Dance. We physicists are sp specifically a laser. We'll strip ions. Now remember, this is the, the and I ain't even going to say names. People get known by their faces after a while, and they're paid by the government to say what you know something some position wants them to say. All right. Wow. Well, there we go. It, it should come on right. Hang on. Uh oh. There we go. Come on. Discussion, no. <laughs> but it is fascinating. I mean, lasers. Politicians really are not scientists. The weather. That's right. Well, as Mark Twain once famously said. Everyone so there's a brainwash weather, with Mark no Twain. Does anything about? It. Well, instead of doing a rain dance, we physicists are firing trillions.
And remember, we this clip. Go always ahead, have copyright, listen fair, to what fair use says, act, guys. So, because this is what I've been saying for three years and not believed. But and there's Sandy and Hook and Sandy the, the Hurricane frequency radio yeah. frequency. Okay. Sp- specifically a laser so, will strip ions and cause precipitation. And go ahead and cue that up. Okay, here we go. How to change the weather on purpose? That's right. Lasers now could one day manipulate rain and lightning. CBS this morning. Lasers wrong. Who is a physics professor at City College? Electricity uh, harvested from nice outer space. You. All the sun. Anything that could get onto together, anything too. That's right. Yeah. yeah but not, not laser. Not laser. <laughs> <laughs> but it is fascinating. Okay. Lasers. Really a real gun is not. That's right. Well, as Mark well, Twain once famously said, it's not a heart machine. It's a laser. No one ever does anything about it. It's a damn well, good weapon. Believe me, we physicists it can melt anything. I love it. Into the sky to actually precipitate so, rain play a little bit more of this. The audio should come through all right. This is potentially a game changer. And I've showed this you the basically it's flux and ion. So far it works. It's a Tesla when coil out in space, ladies and gentlemen. Not the rail gun. Not the rail gun. Crystals. You can precipitate rain. The rail gun is awesome. It can melt. These seeds All kinds can of stuff. Also be created by laser beams. Uh, 11. Firing trillion watt lasers so anyway, rip apart the electrons. So powerful people ions. pull off stuff. These ions act like seeds, like dust Try to make people look bad. Down rain and even remember, word of mouth can always ruin people, remember? Well, I, I, this not is really, not anymore. Because too, I remember reading Lots of the money. Lawyers love to sue people that are basically butt gashing people. This after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, and that can happen. Is it really worth them? We have some of these capabilities now. Yeah, we do. Weather control has been around, been studied since uh, way before the 50s. Way way before the 50s, better. Governments have been playing. He's not my bug. Alleged to. Alleged to, right? Yeah. Now. We realize that and he's got a bunch of paper that hangs on walls. Have alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're bringing in the laws of physics rather than simply. Yep, uh, law of physics. There, at least he knows about Joe. that, but not we're a laser. Actually, using a trillion watt Tesla. Now. Natural and energy from outer sure space. Enough, they precipitate rain out of water vapor. Sure enough, you can Don't put a coil in your backyard, ladies and gentlemen. You'll me. electrocute so yourself. Areas okay? Buy your electricity where you're supposed to buy it. They don't have him. Uh, but you can still do what you want to do. Consequences of famine. Well, the you just better be certified is, is and know how to do it. Not do at all. You got to be a certified electrician. That's already in the air and condenses it. However, for floods, for agriculture, farmers. I want to say hi all electricians I've ever worked for. With, with, didn't really work for them. They're working for a lot of money. And agriculture and flooding and even hurricanes. Pino's just intangible. All of them could be subject to weather modification. All can be subject to weather modification. That is correct, but not by a laser. But see, that's where they they got you turned. You got they got you guys turned around the wrong direction. Straight line laser, straight line laser. Did everybody notice how they? There's your electron. Proton masses from electrons. Electron flux ions, and then this is live tonight. I'll show you the factual actual. Everything's kind of calm because of all those elements and all those that I showed you coming by. Everything around Earth and all those suns that glow on us every day, it's all magnetical, gigantic magnetical. Bigger than your imagination because of the infinite size of space. And real quickly, everything was quaking in the different areas in the Pacific because basically everything was going on. We get, the, the only big energy we were getting was going on on the other side of a magnet which basically is around the equator and the friction and everything like that. Oklahoma City got a quake, and basically we had five point. Now, Indonesia had a little bit of action, but it's along the equator, okay? And then factual, we go here, when we got a lot of Philippines action, a little bit of Pacific going on there, but higher and not lower down like in New Zealand where it's been going on. And you got a little even action in Switzerland and stuff like that, and then Colombia was going. So you see it's different direction. Uh, every time certain objects go and do their twists in the electric motor faction because it's all an electric motor. Go down through here real fast to top this off. Remember, it's not a laser. Tesla is static electricity from outer space and it does do a lot. It runs everything. It puts you in a mood, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Queen Charlotte Islands was probably the lowest we action got. Okay. Right there. Being very factual, actual. 